All right, we're back to working on the adjustable crescent wrench or whatever you want to call it. Yesterday we got the threads working so it opens and closes. The first thing that I'm going to do now is work on grinding the profile of the outside so that it looks good. Step one is complete. We've got a good bit of grinding done on the profile as well as on the faces. Next up, we put the movable jaw in and grind it to fit. Do you remember where we had to weld that bar on to machine the fixed jaw? Well, that has left a little bit of a blister from the weld. And in the right light, it's just ever so faintly visible. So we're gonna do something a little bit risky that might destroy the whole thing. We're going to oxidize it. So we're gonna put it in the forge, hopefully not take it all the way up to a red temperature, but get it maybe 650, 700 degrees Celsius, where it just starts to turn black and leave it there. It'll have an ultra, ultra thin oxide It'll hopefully not affect the mechanics of how this thing works, but should hopefully mask that little blister. Got to interrupt us to thank today's sponsor, which is Raid Shadow Legends. Now, have you ever dreamt of fitting a truly AAA quality game right into your back pocket, whether on an iPhone or Android or PC device? Can you imagine shoving a PC in your back pocket, Jamie? Well, however you fit it in there, you can explore millions of champion combinations and master countless tactics as you take on raid bosses, dungeon runs, campaign battles, and PvP arena matches. Today, we're going to tell you a bit about one of my favorite factions, the High Elves. Their backstory is pretty interesting. Their homeland of Varia has been around for thousands of years. But things then got twisted when a bunch of elves went evil and attacked the kingdom. Have a look at Jingle Hunter with a very interesting bow and arrow. As ever this month, raid has a non-stop schedule of events, including Forge Pass Season 3 with some amazing rewards on offer, including limited edition artifact set. They're bringing out new champions, new champion skins. And later in the month, Raid is giving everybody's favorite champion the upgrade he deserves. Death Knight is becoming a legendary champion. Now, there's never been a better time to get started. Click my link in the description or scan the QR code on screen, and new players are going to get a starter back worth $30, a free champion Iena, and also this cool in-game loot. You'll find your rewards here in the inbox for the next 30 days only. Thank you to Raid for sponsoring this. Check them out. Let's get back to the video. I do very much like how it's looking, and our final component is the little threaded spindle that this rotates upon. Almost there. Oh. YouTube comments. That's strange. YouTube comments came in. Can't believe you didn't make a single point thread in tool. Oh, I'm unsubscribing because your awful thread in the there was crap. Two words. High speed steel cutter. Moron. All threads are disgusting. I like your dog. Get a haircut, Muppet. I did. Ah. Uh. So, it's come to my attention that I should have tried making a high-speed steel thread cutting tool. And so, we're going to redo all of that threading that we did over the last week and try our best to get it done right. Make it a little more authentic to what it should be with those square acme-like threads as opposed to this rounded concoction that does work. Works quite well. But my goodness, I should have taken the opportunity to make my own thread cutting tool and try single point threading it. And thank you for calling me out on not trying this. We're gonna try making our own 
single point thread cutting tool for these square threads and see if we can cut them. This is how our high speed steel blank comes. I'm gonna degrease it this way. We can put some dicom on it and start laying out where we grind it. Trouble is, I don't have my machinery's handbook. It's in the Montana shop. So I do not have the resources I would like. I've tried doing some Googling and probably don't have the patience for it. Here's what we've got so far. We have an angle relative to the body of the tool that'll hopefully line up with the helix angle of the threads. It's Jamie, I have put so much thought into this as to whether it's the right way around. I think it's the right way around. I'm pretty certain it's the right way around, but when you look at it, it looks like it's the wrong way around. How can you tell? I don't know. It's a 50-50 shot. <laughs> but I have Worst case scenario, if it's the wrong way around, we can make another oh, one. Oh, that's why you bought two. Yes, exactly. Oh. It means I have four attempts if this doesn't go well, Jamie. I think it's the right way around. It is also slightly thinner at the bottom than it is at the top. There is the 10 degree angle that came with the blank here. A very small radius on the corners, just so it's not super, super sharp. But there's a teeny weeny radius. I did that with a little hand stone. And then I gave it just a little angle up here. Did we do it right? Probably not. Will it work? I don't know. And that's what we've got to find out. So we're going to turn up a little bit more steel, shove this bad boy in, and see, see what it looks like. Right, you ready, Jamie? It's about to frickin' happen. Come on, come on. It's scraping it, but it's not just yet cutting. Yes! Oh, it's making chips. We made a cutter that's making chips. Woo! Oh my goodness, it's beautiful. Oh, look at it. Holy crap, that's cool. Literally 0.7 millimeters off the diameter and it was done and it was working perfectly and the tool was perfect. Ah! And the tool is fine, but I've bent the workpiece. How does that make sense? Do you see that? Right, well on that note, let's try again. I made an oopsie, the door opened, I turn around to see what it is, and I crashed the lathe. I've broken the tool. Maybe I broke the tool when we were done. I hope that's the case. Time to cut it off, hopefully to the right size. Ta-da! Let me tell you what, Jamie, I'm gonna be really glad to not use this lathe for a little while. I think I'm all lathed out for a bit. So there we are. Square threads cut, single point on the lathe, rough around the edges. I've radius the little corners there so it fits better with what we're working with. That was a journey. Let's see if it fits. Oh, are you kidding me? I measured this thing. Golly. That is insane. Success. Oh, ho, ho. that is so smooth. This is even better than the last one. I told you this one worked the whole way. Well, this is even better. It is smooth as butter. We got a black in it, and then we're done. Let's put it to the test. It's on. 
It loosens. It tightens too. It'll even do big bolts. This Bernstorff is for sale, by the way. Little bolts too. But the most important test of all is how well it works as a hammer. Oh my goodness. Folks, we've done it. Thank you for watching and thank you for convincing me to single point thread this nut. How's it going everybody, it's Sam. I just wanted to let you know we still have pants in stock, both in the Bison Brown and the Black Espresso. They're super comfortable, they got a lot of storage, and they're gonna protect you in this work environment against sparks and fires and whatnot. Go to the website and check out the pants. Stay safe, happy forging.